going on everyone sam here with latent sports cards another episode of no method all madness we've got five cards from pwcc slash fanatics collect very excited to get into these as well nothing super super crazy this week a couple of cool plays um, that I think will end up being pretty cool. A couple PC cards, so excited to get into it. We'll start off with not 100% sure which SKU of Bowman this was from. I want to say it's 23 Bowman. The first one that comes out is going to be a Blue Lunar Crater of Chase Bowen, number to 150. 23 was the first year that they introduced the Lunar crate, or the, uh, the Lunar Parallels for the autos and for some of the base cards as well, so thought that was a cool one. Obviously, they're not going to reflect as highly as the regular true colors will in the market and the resale value, but I do enjoy the look of the Lunar Crater. So decided to pick that one up. It was super inexpensive, so uh, went with that one. Next up is going to be from 22 Panini Phoenix. That's going to be a pink rookie number to uh, 199, Trayvon Walker of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, that is going to be a PSA 8 as well. Kind of wild that you could pick up number one overall picks for super, super cheap. Obviously, it's not the highest grade in the world, and I know Trayvon Walker hasn't had the greatest start to his career as well. Totally understand that, but he does have a ton of potential. That Jags defense is still super young, and he plays a lot, uh, opposite of Joshua Hines Allen, so really good mentor there as well. I do think that Trayvon Walker may bloom a little bit later in his career, but I think he will end up being a pro bowler at some point. So decided to grab that. Uh, and again, I'm a defense merchant as well, so very excited for that. Been really loving these right here. 2004 Tops Baseball. That's gonna be Ichiro and Albert Pujols on the fan favorites insert. Again, one of my favorite top sets of all. 2004 honestly may be my favorite year of tops. So again, was when I started collecting, it was a couple of years before I started collecting, but my uncle got me a couple of complete sets and a couple of boxes of 04 top baseball. So still have a ton of it in my collection. Yadier Molina, that's his rookie year. Um, and if you guys know on the base design, it's uh, the picture and then in the bottom, it's like a silhouette of the player with their number. It's just beautiful design. Really excited to see them hopefully bring that back into an insert in regular tops sometime in the near future, but only can hold out hope. Uh, next up will be 2019 Bowman Draft. That's going to be a Shea Langliers on the just first base auto PSA 8. Uh, he was part of the Sean Murphy trade, I believe. I don't know if it was Sean Murphy. It may have been uh, may have been Olsen. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Olsen, but now that I say that. So, um, well, one of the many trades between the Braves and the A's where the Braves receive the A's best player in turn for prospects. So, uh, one of the brighter spots on the A's roster at this point in time as well. So, uh, have some pretty decent hopes for Langley. He's going to get a lot of playing time. He's going to hopefully develop well. So, decided to grab that. It's not the highest graded parallel, but still pretty cool. And then this one I really enjoy. Um, this is going to be number 5 of 10, 2022 at Leaf Metal Draft Football. Jordan Davis of the Georgia Bulldogs. He was a first round pick in 22 to the Philadelphia Eagles, or as we should say, the Philadelphia Bulldogs, as their defense now consists of Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Nicobe Dean, Kelly Ringo. And I think they have one other guy there from that Georgia defense that won a couple of national championships. But Davis is an absolute monster. He's a huge, huge human being. Uh, in interior tackle as well, so he's a run stopper. Uh, again, defensive fan you're talking to here. So had to pick that up when I saw it. Of course, not necessarily licensed as it is a Leaf card. I still think the design's very nice. And the green is kind of uh, an Eagles color match to some degree too. So that's it. These five pickups got a bunch more stuff in the mail coming in. So be on the lookout for some new episodes. Uh, appreciate you guys as always for taking the time to watch this. Um, and I'll see you on the next uh, episode. Thank you all again.